It gets me every time. You know what? I do want to hit you because you are the most spoiled person in the office. Agreed. Because. My friends, today's video is brought to you by iFixit. You might remember a little while ago, I destroyed Reese's MacBook wholly unintentionally. Promise. Wasn't trying to uh, end the life of the only Mac pleb in the, or not not your life, the life of the lab. Anyways. I'm sure about that. So not only did we get a full build sponsored for you, I replaced your laptop, and then iFixit reached out to us and was like, hey, we're all about fixing stuff. How about we fix that laptop that you broke? So you're gonna have two laptops and a gaming PC for your editing station here at the office. You're literally the most spoiled person here. I don't like it. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. All of the nice stuff isn't going to me. I run the channel and I'm not the one who's getting things. But we really do appreciate iFixit for sponsoring this repair setup guide thing that we're doing here for Reese's. This is the 2015 MacBook Pro, right? Is it this? Is this the 13 or the 15 inch? 13 inch. Yes, yes it is. So as, as you might remember, I hit it with the back of my chair and yeah, turn it on. Like that, mm, mm. That goodness. Right through the Apple logo, just as it should be. You know what? We're fixing it anyways. Just give it a nice little smack and die. You suck. <laughs> I think it died for a second completely. I've always wanted to do this. You want to do it? Just like squish it. We're replacing it. Attack it, Reese. Give oh, it some dang. ferocity. Check that. I mean, it is well made like that. Oh, wow. Does it fix it? Maybe just blow on it. <sighs> okay, that's not gonna work. So not only did iFixit send us the part that we needed, which is this display assembly for the MacBook Pro, they also sent us all of the tools that we we're gonna need. So we have the ProTech toolkit here. We got tweezers, we got spudgers, we got clips and picks and suction stuff, which I don't think we'll need to use. And then for, for put that away. For all of the things that we need to unlock and enable, we have their Manta driver kit. Holy frick, that is every single bit and bob that you might ever want for anything ever. And geez, that's a lot of, that's, that's a lot of nuts. nuts. <laughs> Well, the way that anybody should start this is by checking out their handy repair guides over on the iFixit website. You just search for the make and model of the thing you're trying to repair, and there they have it. They have it especially for this uh, this MacBook that's happening here. So Reese, are, do you wanna do the honors, my friend? Just to open it up. Yeah, just open it up. So you're a Mac guy who, like I even built your PC for you, so you don't, you but you looked at their repair website and you know what you're doing, right? Not a clue. But okay. yes, let's do this. I mean, it's, you just follow instructions. You take the yeah. screwdriver, you unscrew things, and you make sure that you don't uh, break anything in the process. Hopefully. Do we trust him? I do. Just pay attention to what you're doing. I'm talking to the audience. So what we can do for all of the screws is put them on this lid right here. Alrighty. And then also kind of just give an indication of which position that they were in. So put it right there. It's not gonna be one for one, but it actually, this lid is kind of helpful for making sure that we do that. I also used the lid to the ProTech toolkit when I was repairing or fixing Rickus's laptop. When I put the one terabyte NVMe drive and liquid metaled it. We didn't do a video on that, but I- Probably should These have. lids are actually kind of help handy. I like that it's divisioned like that. Is that because you're excited for the division? Not really. So which which screw or bit? Currently using yeah. the P5. Oh. <laughs> we are trying to preserve this, Reese. My goodness, friend. And then there should be some clips. Oh, hello. And there you go. Look there we that, go. Look oh at that my dusty goodness. Boy. So this is also something that you might want to consider, even if you're not trying to fix anything. All of this what do you, do you like eat Cheetos over your MacBook? That's dust, my friend. That is, that's Cheeto dust. Oh my, we need to give it a good cleaning. Okay, so first step with any laptop repair anywhere ever is always disconnecting the freaking battery so that you don't destroy it. Cause I, I may or may not have done that at one point. Is that the battery connection? Uh, this has the battery connection under it. So you have to peel that back and that there, lift it straight up and then See if you can put some electrical tape between it and the connection, just to prevent it from making contact while you're busy with everything else. Okay, so that should be good enough. Okay, now we need to uh, despudge these connections here on the Wi-Fi card, I believe that is. We also need to 
disconnect this monitor cable right here. We also need to remove this rubber gasket, so I'll do that now. Straight. How do I get rid of that one? You first need to get rid of this guy here and pull it completely out. Okay, that next one. Yeah, you have to walk it out. Yes. Now walk it out. Done. Just a little bit by a little bit. Oh, there's like adhesive. Yeah, then you have to peel it off the, peel the cable off of the fan. Okay. Yeah, I think you have to take the tape off, then there's a, like a flip yeah, yeah, yeah. switch over that. No, I have, I've, I've broken a laptop like this before, so I'm good. Okay, so I flipped the thing. How do you come out? That's what I need to, does it pull straight out? Yes, it does. Okay, well, Easy experimentation is the only way to find out sometimes. All right, that's done. Okay, now we need to unscrew this. What type of screws are these? Okay, it's T5 for the... T5. I'm doing all of the interior screws on this piece right here. Okay, now what's the other screw head we need here? Uh, should be T8. T8. Wait, inner or outer? We leave the inner. Okay, cool. All right, so now we open it to just past 90 degrees. Yes. Like right there. And then you make sure it doesn't fall over because that was one of the things it said. Okay, oh, I think the hinge is bent. So here, let me, let's flip it upside down here. And I just accidentally pressed the power cable. That's why you disconnect the battery. At least the, the comment section on the website is useful for. Oh, there's a comment section? Yeah. There it goes. A per step common section. Really? Yes. That's amazing. I didn't realize how good they were. Okay. Is, is there like a recycling process with this? What do we do with that now? Because I kind of want to throw it on the ground and break it. Okay, you hold it as hard as you can, okay? This is gonna shatter. Is it? Straight up. Okay. Are you okay with this? I'm okay with this. That didn't work. It didn't oh, shatter. Wow. I, I said hold it. I was trying to karate chop it in half. Yeah, no, you kind of karate chopped it out my fingers. Okay, well, we just bent it more there. Wait, is this the new one or the old one? <laughs> <laughs> Reese, what I want you to do now. Hello. Is uh, clean this. Yes. Because this, this actually... is super gross. Do we also want to replace the thermal paste while we're here? You think? We'd have to look up how to do that, but. You, you literally remove these screws and that one, and that one, and probably that one. Lift the entire cooling assembly out and then just do it. This isn't my first rodeo for, uh, <laughs> for replacing thermal paste. Okay, so Reese cleaned it off. It actually doesn't look terrible right now. And it's only five screws to uh, replace thermal paste here. So that's what we're gonna be working on. All T5s. All T5s. You know what's one of my most favorite included uh, bits for this in the what? Protect Toolkit? The, uh, the magnetic one. Oh, uh, just to pick everything up? Yeah. So you just plug that in, and then you can magnetize anything. That's kind of cool. So if you lose the screw, you're good to go. You see, friends, when you're in the middle of a repair, usually it's a good idea to just go ahead and do whatever else you can while you're doing it so that you don't have to come back. That is, oh. Oh, wow. Oh, sweet, yeah, we definitely should have fixed that. Can you see that? Check that, that is, out. Like, you can't see, and then, Oh my, what is that? Oh, that's the rubber thing. That, you can you can see the actual freaking die. That needs, oh wow. That was a terrible job. Did, are you surprised? It's Apple. <laughs> okay, so that's copper. I was contemplating putting liquid metal on this, but also at the same time, I, uh, I realized that we're probably gonna sell this. So putting liquid metal on here and then forcing the next person to deal with the fact that it's gonna fuse with the copper and then have to replace it down the line, mm. probably not the best sales strategy. So we just have some pretty decent Fantex uh, thermal paste here, which we can uh, just put on and make it go. Make it go fast, fast. No, just make sure it doesn't scream while it's operating. <laughs> That's how I like to live my life. Ah! <laughs> you should hear. When Reese is making a, a thumbnail, he always tries to make the sounds that my face looks like. Yes. So if it's thumbnail where I'm like, the entire time he's editing, he's going, oh, my longest yeah boy ever. <laughs> So that's kind of nice how they have the, the actual lining around it so it doesn't spill over. Okay, so the heat sink only really makes contact with that die there. So that's all we're gonna 
We're just gonna boop some on. You know, I used to be super self-conscious about how much thermal paste I would put on stuff. And then both Linus Tech Tips and Gamers Nexus came out with videos saying it really doesn't freaking matter. Just, and they physically showed it. So now I don't care and everybody's gonna comment anyways. If I do too much or too little, everybody whines. Okay, that should be fine. Now we have the new display. Let's open this up. Nice and pretty and fresh. There we go. Fresh. Oh. Check that out. Let's keep that on. Uh, uh, bring those scissors back. So now we need to stand it up and go reverseness. I can hold that. You do that. You might have to bend the hinges yeah, first. Yeah, no, I definitely do. Aha! Let get it. It's elementary, Reese. It's just leverage. Your leverage. Thank you. Uh, I think we're gonna need to like just make sure the cables are out of the way. Is one of the major things. So that needs to go there. This needs to come in. So that's in there. Honestly, I never like expected to ever replace like a laptop screen or anything that crazy sounding. Okay, so now you take your screwdriver and we just go in reverse. Are you having a hard time, Reese? Yeah, I don't have enough elbow room this side. Oh, I'll move, okay? You just <laughs> need to ask. No. So rude. You do those. Um, just pop them back on. Yeah. People said this is the most difficult part of the entire thing. That's why you're doing it. One eternity later. That only took 16 hours. Um, yeah, no, that was actually a lot more. I'm back. A lot more tricky than I thought it was gonna be. Slide right on in, why don't you? And bam, done. Ooh. Now it's time for the battery. The adhesive here is not quite working out. And done. It's just the tape is like pushing it up. But that should be fine. Uh, can you get me the base plate? Okay, these need to clip back in. Okay. Oh, right there, in there. Got it. Do it, Reese. Let's see. Aligned. And Reese Hillifer. There you go. Check that out. Nice. It looks brand new, pretty much. So, yeah, this looks new. This looks worn, but it's not too much of a standout discrepancy there. That's actually really cool. All right, I want my money back. Yeah, sweet. Give me my money back, Reese. Where's my money? Okay, so gaming laptop and now two MacBooks. You officially need to stop. It's time to stop, it's time to stop. I'm done with you. And I'm done with this video. So big thanks to iFixit for sponsoring not only all of the parts we needed, the Protect toolkit, the Manta driver set, as well as everything else we have in the office from them, the actual display assembly for this MacBook, the freaking repair guides on their website, and then actually sponsoring this video as well. Reese is now back to 100% final form. Almost. Um, what else do you need? Sweets. I can do that. I can do that. You are so spoiled. You're like a little child. I can't believe this. Anyways, uh, thank you, iFixit, for uh, sponsoring. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech-related content. We might do more MacBook stuff. We might break more MacBook stuff, especially if iFixit's just gonna help us repair it every time. <laughs> that would that would be wrong. That would be wrong. Anyways, well, subscribe, did I say subscribe? It's, it's, I'm Brett with the UFD Tech Channel. This is Reese with the UFD Tech Channel. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you smiling faces again in the next video. Bye.